Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, these are the kind of comments that I feel Deontay Wilder needs to hear. And to a lesser extent, some of his fans need to hear as well and take on board the way that they've all been acting. Wilder, of course, and of course, the fan brigade blowing smoke right up Wilder's backside. OK, all of this hasn't helped Deontay Wilder. And ultimately, he ended up getting humiliated by Tyson Fury. Now, the legend that is Iron Mike Tyson has given his thoughts on Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury part three. What kind of chances does he give Deontay Wilder? Now, outside of a big punches chance, Wilder's always going to have that against anybody that he faces. But with Tyson Fury, he seems to have Deontay Wilder in his pocket. He seems to have him all figured out. He's got his number. Now, we'll get into what Mike Tyson had to say. And there's a whole lot of truth to it. And we'll have like, like a little bit of a chat about it in a second. So this is what Mike Tyson said yesterday to Yahoo Sports. Wilder stuff is a lot of energy that I once had. We've been able to accept our mistakes. Stand up and say, hey, I messed up the best man won. We can't be consumed by our egos. Nobody was more consumed with their ego than me. We always look for excuses when we lose and say, well, I couldn't lose. There must have been a mistake. Somebody had to cheat me. So we have to look at the perspective that a loss is a form of education. I don't know anything about Wilder beating Fury in the third fight, but in order for him to do that, he's going to have to beat himself in life. He's his biggest opponent at this moment in life. He's not going to have to stand a chance with Fury if he doesn't beat himself. So that's Mike Tyson's statement. Now, I think Mike Tyson is kind of going around the bush with it. I think he's trying to be a little bit less critical than maybe a lot of people would be, and myself included. For me, very simple. Wilder, you thought you were something that you weren't. And Tyson Fury showed you for what you really were which was a limited fighter. Now, when he's talking about ego, again, he's going around the long way, but the ego comes from a section of his fan base. It comes from within his own camp as well. I mean, who walks around saying that I only need to be perfect for two seconds while you're going to be perfect for 36 minutes? In other words, I'm going to land this right hand on you at some point in those 36 minutes. But you don't do anything else in the entire fight. To watch Wilder fight outside of the knockout... He's comical. He looks funny. He's funny looking. Okay, he's all gangly. He's uncoordinated because he doesn't bring anything else to it. He's not an intimidating kind of guy. And when you've got people blowing smoke up your ass, like a section of his fans do, where, oh, Deontay Wilder, he's the hardest hitter in the heavyweight division, period, in the history of it, period. He would destroy Tyson Fury, facts. He would destroy Anthony Josh with Dillian White, facts. All these kind of things. Yeah, okay, so they get opinion mixed up with facts. Hey, it's an education thing. But when it comes down to it, Wilder was buying into it. He thought he was on the same level as Anthony Joshua. He thought he had the same pulling power, but he can't sell a ticket. He's not a popular guy in the sense of people like him. He's not a likable person. His character is not a likable person. Him Behind the camera, away from the cameras, I hear is a very, very nice guy. That's the kind of side that people should be seeing. Not this, I want a body on my record. Not this, naming your WBC title, Sophia. Is it named after some god of all creation, Sophia, the bringer of life and death, all that kind of stuff. It's stupidity. How my grandma told me that I'm anointed by God, I'm special. Well, all grandmas say that. But what you don't do is buy into it. You don't go along and then start coming out with your own narrative. I'm the baddest man on the planet. When nobody else is saying that for you. Mike Tyson never once said, or to my knowledge, or started off the, uh, the coin of, I'm the baddest man on the planet. Boxing fans did it. They did it for him because they believed it. With Wilder, he was never believed. So when you've got like a, bu um, a bunch of yes men around you going, yes, you are the baddest man on the planet. Yes, you've got a devastating right hand. Yes, you are untouchable. When you lose and reality sets in, that loss hurts a hell of a lot more. A hell of a lot more. When Anthony Joshua lost, he came out and he said, the better man won. Even though deep inside he knew what happened in that fight. And I'm going to get you in the rematch. 
But until that rematch, I'm not going to come out and make excuses. I want to come out and say, the better man won. And I want to tell all my fans, don't make excuses. Stop coming up with conspiracy theories. Hey, listen, I was one of them, right? But these Wilder fans are coming out with some absolute rubbish. Rubbish. And, and, and it kind of started off with the suit being too heavy. I mean, come on now. And that's, that is something that apparently Wilder said. But they're coming out with Glovegate from 2018 as, as a potential reason why Deontay Wilder lost. That's how bad they took it. Let's go back to 2015, a failed UCAD test for Tyson Fury to look for excuses. That's how bad Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder and how bad they can't accept it. That he is mere, a mere mortal. He is just flesh, blood and bones. That's what he is, okay? Fury is a superb, superb boxer. As the old saying goes, a good boxer will always be a good puncher. That's what it is. And Tyson Fury showed that. And he's got Deontay Wilde's number. So for Deontay Wilde to go forward, first things first, he needs to accept the defeat. Now, as of right now, to this day, what we two months after the fight, he still hasn't come out with a statement to put an end to his some of his fans' are absolute rhetoric bullshit and say, listen, you lot, shut up. All right, I lost. I've accepted it. I'm going to make changes for the rematch. That's it. He allowed them to continue it. In my opinion, it's because part of him wanted it to be true. He, he wants to believe that the reason that he lost was because of, of the fight in 2018. Even though there's nothing in it, but he's not shutting down the rumours, so therefore he must believe in it. Tyson Fury with a UCAD in 2015. Maybe that was the reason. So what he's going to do then, because he's not coming out with statements and telling people to shut up, that's kind of telling the public, well, I believe that too. And the suit is the reason why I lost. No, the reason why you lost is because Tyson Fury is better than you in that boxing ring. I'm not saying he's a better person. I'm saying inside the squared circle, he is a better boxer than Deontay Wilder. And it was only a matter of time before Deontay Wilder lost. So this is why, why Mike Tyson's talking about ego. When you have an ego... And that ego gets popped and exposed for what it is, that loss hurts. And you can't come back from that loss if you can't accept what truly happened. And the fact that Wilder is known as quite prolific on social media, the fact that he's done nothing other than that video saying, your king is still here, your king's going nowhere, your king will rise again. Basically, he's calling these fans peasants, right? But that's about as far, far with it that he went. Where's all the statements saying, listen, it's okay to take a loss. And it is okay to take a loss. But he's giving people like me ammunition to throw mud at him and his fans because of the complete nonsense that they're coming out with. Because his ego got checked. Tyson Fury is the killer of heavyweight reigning champions. That's what he is, okay? That's what he does. Can Deontay Wilder defeat... Tyson Fury in the rematch in part three. Well, if he couldn't beat Tyson Fury at a depleted 50% where it was cherry picked, and even Shelly Finkel said we were surprised how good Tyson Fury was. In other words, that was a cherry pick. Deontay Wilder should have smoothed out Tyson Fury at that point back in December 2018 in Los Angeles. If he couldn't do it then, I said it and met. And plenty of other people said it. If you couldn't beat him then, that was your best opportunity. What chance do you think you've got now? And look, look what uh, Tyson Fury done. He didn't just outbox him. He beat the living shit out of him. He made his team throw in the towel. And what's going to happen in the third fight? If Tyson Fury's motivated, it's going to be even more of a beating. I would probably expect Tyson Fury to get him out of there in two or three rounds. For real, I would. Because he's not accepting the defeat. And that's what Mark Tyson's saying. You need to come out. And you should have already done it by now. Come out and say. Well first of all. My fans. Keep yourself safe. Keep your social distancing. Stay inside your house. Look after your family. Do what the government asks you to do. Second of all. When it comes to my career. Don't worry about it. I took a loss. It hurt. I'm not happy about it. I think I know what happened. But I'm going to keep that to myself. And I'm going to work on it in the training camp to make sure that it doesn't happen in the third fight. Give your fans something.
But the fact that he's not, will show you that his ego got burst bad. Really, really bad. And that's what Mike Tyson's telling you. That uh, Deontay Wilder, that ego got burst. And can he come back from it? By the looks of it, maybe not. Because we don't know what his mentality is. For all we know, he could be still sat in a corner of a very dark room crying. We don't know what he's doing. He could be severely underweight, not to eating, not drinking properly. Who knows what he's doing? We don't know. Or maybe he's having a very good time. He's out on his holidays. Apparently he went to Africa, to Nigeria and all these kind of places. Maybe he's having a great time. Maybe this loss isn't really affecting him. But I doubt it, because if it did, he'd have been out on social media by now, wouldn't he? Anyway, that's Mike Tyson's statement. Article to that in the description box below. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.